Let's talk right. social media, Thatch, real quick. So I, yes, I want to tell a quick story about it. I'm on stage one time, and it was it was at a, a Limitless conference, right? Mm-hmm. I'm on stage, and I think uh, I was there, uh, and there was three or four other people on stage, including you. We were yep. on a panel. Yep. Uh, Pace Morby was one of them, right? Yep. And I remember the the person running the panel asked the question, "What's your team look like on <laughs> right. social media?" And there's like, I mean, it was it was, uh, I mean, I had like two or three, four people kind of working with me. You know, Pace had like 700 people working with him. <laughs> like he's got, like all, everyone's like, "I got this," and you're like. You pull out your phone. I remember right. you just pull out your phone. You're like, I got this. Yeah, yeah. And Lorenz, I think it was. It. Like, I got one guy in a phone. Yeah. And you had more followers and got more views. I mean, what, 250 million views yeah. a month now? Yeah. That's insane. Off of like a much simpler thing. Yes. Which tells me that it's not it's not the amount of people you have behind you no. that makes you successful. So yes. what is it that makes you successful? Um, I think what well, maybe successful is that a lot of people can relate to my story. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people that follow me, they really connect with my story because, um, I'm them yeah, and they can relate to me. And I've been, it's been a blessing because, um, every time I get a comment, I'm like, man, you remind me of me when I was younger, or I want to be like that. You know what I mean? And a lot of them uh, can relate to me. So that's the biggest thing. And so when I make content, I want to make content that is relatable, so that they can understand it. So I always okay. start off with, how can I make content where I'm speaking to my own kid? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they can understand it. I got I to gotta water it down, keep it simple. That's why short form are really not there for coaching. It's yeah. there to actually crack open yeah, yeah. their brain a little bit, to give them think. And yeah. the more small little short form I make for them, it just get their brain to open up more and more and more. So I'm not trying to coach them in the whole entire thing. I just want to give them more insights, more insight. Yeah. And so I water it down to pretend I'm speaking to my own kids. And I want to make sure the content is delivered in a way. I, I want to speak in a way that actually is relatable to the mass yeah. that yeah. follow me. Um, and that's the content. And that's how I think about it. But then the most important thing is I, lis- I listen to the, uh, the comment. And I, lis- I watch the question that comes in. And I take that. And then I make more content out of that. Mm-hmm. But I think the biggest thing is I just made a commitment two and a half years ago when I started this was to drop two videos a day mm-hmm. on six different platforms, seven different platforms. And the goal is to do it seven days a week, no matter what day it is, we're dropping content every day. And the key is I want to give them content that is valuable, that is all about give, not mm-hmm. about taking. Wow. And that's the key because yeah. I, I don't... You know, and it, the only time I ever will do a call to action is when I have an event come in, come join. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it's purely just value driven, yeah. throwing yeah. gems every day. That's it. That's yeah. been my been my success. That's amazing. How much time are you spending on that a week? I would probably say out of forty hours a week, I work probably I would say twenty hours of it is okay. creating content and shooting content, and the other mm-hmm. twenty is working real estate. Yeah, yeah, That's super cool. Yeah. I, I love the theme here. I mean, you earlier you said, yeah, I was door, door knocking a hundred doors a day, like, yeah. for, years. for years, and then it was like I'm going to buy two rentals a year yeah. forever. Now forever. you're saying I'm going to do two ep- two videos a day on six platforms, seven platforms. Every there's a there's a theme here. There's a theme here. Yeah, yeah. what is that yeah. theme? Like what? the theme is consistency. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just being single minded focus. Yeah. And just being consistent. I mean, you don't need to do much to really be successful. Yeah. I think people sometimes think be successful, you got to go wide. Yeah. I say get clear what it is, go deep. Mm-hmm. Right? And social media is a real good example. Figure out who my audience is, figure what they want, and then give them what they want and just go deep with it. Yeah. yeah. And and that's been the success. Uh, I mean, like November, December, I mean, we have some of our best months. We were getting over 200 plus new followers a month. Wow. Wow. Just on organic from... You know, October, mm-hmm. November, December, we were getting 200. November, we had like 280,000 new followers in November, wow. just organic. It just purely from just organic posting. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we see that. We see what's working. We double up on those. Yeah. 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 Consistency. I know, I know the videos I think probably everyone's seen. I've seen them many times. Like, the, don't buy this. Yeah. Buy yeah. this. Yeah. And yes. I love the simplicity yeah. of that because like you said it cracks people's heads open a That's little it. bit. You're like, wait, why wouldn't I buy the, the Lamborghini? That's, that's right. That's mm-hmm. way cooler. That's right. And, and the thing you know this, man, you shot a lot of video. We're not... In the one minute video, it's not there to coach them how yeah, to do the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, you can't teach them the whole yeah. thing, in right? One minute, yeah. But it is get them to stop and go. Wait a minute, what mm-hmm. he's saying in one minute does make a lot of sense. Yeah, and you can actually say all that. You think about it. If you were shooting a Super Bowl commercial and it cost you five million for thirty seconds, you think really, really hard on the message to deliver in thirty seconds because you're yeah. paying mm-hmm. a lot of money. Yeah. 
I think the same way when I do my one-minute video. I got to be able to say it in one minute, mm -hmm. exactly what someone needs to hear, and get it across so they can go, oh, I know exactly what that guy's saying. Yeah. 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 Why, why do you do social media? That's a good question. At first, I do social media thinking I want to make a lot of money out of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I see my check every month, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> There's no money out of this stuff. Um, the more I did it, the more I realized how much – how many people I'm actually making a difference to mm -hmm. and the impact I'm making in the world. Mm -hmm. And I realized that's a great opportunity. I didn't think I ever told this to a lot of people. When I was younger, as I started finding my vision, my vision to inspire and empower beings of people to reach for the goals and dream to see that anything is possible. Yeah. Share my own story, my own journey. That's been my vision for a long time. One day I was watching Oprah Winfrey and I said, man, one day... I'm going to have me a show like Open One Free, and I'm going to actually change a lot of lives. And it's interesting because there's been many different forms of that that came to my life. One was a TV show. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, it got, we went and recorded a bunch of stuff, and it never aired. Mm -hmm. And then when it never aired, I said, it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. Three years ago, when this social media thing started taking off, I was just doing it for the fun of it. And not until probably halfway through, I realized, this is the Open One Free platform mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. And yeah, now you're getting more views than any reality TV show person. Right? Like, yeah, when A and E actually came to me and do that, I looked at their rating. I'm like, man, they don't want me to get like yeah. not even a tenth of what <laughs> I get, right? <laughs> exactly. And so why I do it today, because no different than Oprah does it, is to inspire and empower live. So I'm living my vision is what I'm doing now. That's what the platform's for now. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, cool, man. I love that. I I hate social media. Um, so no, no. I, I, but I, I I'm just not good at posting. Yeah. But I had an instance, uh, probably three months ago, where yeah. where somebody saw one of my videos. Uh, we chatted for a little bit. Just told them about wholesaling. Told them a couple a couple pointers. Right. And they went and they 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 did it. Nice. And they got an eighty thousand dollar wholesale nice. deal. Nice. Oh. And they called me literally crying. Yeah. yeah. And that that covered their entire year yes they literally told me that like we because of you we just bought a year of our life back that's awesome and like to me i'm like dude it's so yeah. powerful yeah. just stuff like that yeah. that so it's no. best roi that there is the thing is with social media with anything with raising fun doing <clears throat> real estate mm -hmm. you just gotta have a big reason yeah, yeah. why you're doing it all right and it gotta be you gotta and it gotta be real clear mm -hmm. yeah all right i think for me now I realize the platform it's not about getting fame. And like yeah. I'm beyond fame. I'm yeah. old now. I don't. I don't really care. <laughs> it's, it, it's not. It's not a big deal anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But for me, it's a platform where I can really touch a lot of lives. Yeah, that's amazing. That's really what inspired me. Like, I mean, you know this, and you just finished saying it. Imagine that's one. Yeah. Imagine millions like yeah. that's happening, but they don't tell you. It's yeah. amazing. That's why we do it. Right? So. If we have a reason big enough like that, we will be consistent on posting. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be we'll be really committed mm -hmm. on thinking about the good content we can make, mm -hmm. so that people can actually, yeah, get it. Well, and I think too with your social media, because um, because people can weed that out. Yes. Like when they watch, they can weed out who's in it yes. to actually change people's lives and who's in it For to the become fame. famous. That's it. And when people watch your social media, yeah. they can see the authenticity yeah. behind yeah. that of, hey, he, he wants to change, he wants to help people. Yeah. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons you've grown that, so fast. Yeah. Obviously, there's a consistency of that, but right. it's also people see your authenticity yeah. in your videos. I, I, I agree with you. And I think that's the reason why I said earlier where one of my secrets is that being me. Mm -hmm. When I started, I wasn't being me. I was trying to be this person who I thought it should be like, this yeah. and anything else. But realize that majority of my followers mm -hmm. are my normal me. Yeah. If I just be me, they will all can relate, and yeah. they wanted me to be me, yeah. right? But of course, we think, oh, well, I, you know, I, I can't be that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a little, <laughs> it's a little bit too ghetto, and yeah. you know. Oh, but funny. they appreciate that, mm -hmm. and that's why you know, um, you know, like a lot of my students that I mentor, probably eighty percent of them minorities all across oh, the world. It's amazing. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So when I see that, uh, I just double down. Yeah. Yeah. I had a uh, a video that went somewhat viral on social media, and I was wearing 
just a t-shirt and a hat. Yes. And somebody got on there and commented, he was like, if you're so rich, you know, why, why are you wearing a t-shirt <laughs> and a hat? I get that all the time, bro. <laughs> and, and my comment, one, because I, I, that's who I am. I like, I am not a nice, that's I right. don't have a suit, I don't have a watch, that's I right. don't have any of that stuff. But I commented, I was like, the whole reason I got into real estate was so I could wear a t-shirt that's and a hat. Right. You know? so that's right. I want to be me. That's, that's, that's right. the whole point of it. Yeah. 